All right, guys, today's video, we're going to go over the five best cities, the five best cities in the Oklahoma City metro area, according to niche.com. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it so you can get some information from someone who actually lives in the area. So if that's what you clicked on the video for, you're like, where do I live in Oklahoma City? That's what this video is going to give you a little bit of info on. And then, of course, for the whole channel, the channel has tons of info on tons of cities in the Oklahoma City metro area. So if I don't get the the uh, city that you specifically want to know about in today's video, then reach out guys, reach out and I'll give you my opinion on the city that you're thinking about. And then I'll give you the playlist too that I've already made on the city most likely, most likely. And if you're new to the channel, first off, welcome back everyone, all of our subscribers, all of our local followers, all of our worldwide followers, welcome back to the channel. And then if you're new to the channel guys, my name is Josh Barnett. I've been a real estate agent for 17 years in the Oklahoma City metro area. So I put everything that I know and everything that the team of agents that I work with know into this channel to help you as consumers get to know Oklahoma City more. Whether you live out of state or whether you live in state, this channel is all about living, eating, drinking, playing, relaxing, and real estate in the Oklahoma City metro area. Now let's go ahead and get in today's video right now. All right, guys, like I said, we're going off niche.com's report. This is from different surveys and different reviews that they get from people who go to their website. And then I'm just giving you my two cents on what niche.com says. So number one, as always, it's typically Edmond. Um, it just is what it is. Now, when I was going to college, I lived in Edmond five years, loved it. Some of the things going on with the school board and the state superintendent right now, you definitely want to check into. You definitely want to check into, especially if you have school age children in Edmond schools. It's something you're going to want to know what's going on so that you can make an educated decision as an adult if Edmond's right for you or not. But without that, I don't want to be all negative. Let's go ahead and talk about what makes Edmond Oklahoma City's number one city to live in right now all right so looking at Edmonds grade they got a plus for public schools they got a minus for housing they've got a plus good for everyone we're not gonna say just for one person or another person we're gonna say good for everyone crime and safety they got a b minus nightlife they've got a b and a minus for diversity every time I go to Edmond I see all sorts of people there so I definitely agree with the diversity part good for everyone it depends on where you stand especially if you've got school aged children housing yeah Edmond's got some of the harshest harshest planning department regulations in the state ask any builder any one of our preferred builders they're gonna say yeah Edmond is all over building houses in their city that's absolutely right crime and safety I think I think that it's one of the most crime free cities in the state me personally i mean their police are on it their police are always out patrolling they're always having a presence they are definitely on it and then public schools a plus it really it depends guys it depends look up this this uh edmund school board versus the state superintendent and see what's going on so you can make a decision when it comes to public schools there so Edmond is ranked number one. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Population 94,000. I think it's more like 110,000. I really do. Real estate median home price $304,700. Let me let me pull this up real quick. Here is the actual MLS data when it comes to real estate. Let me go ahead and just plug this in for us real quick so I can get you guys the real answer. So median home price. Let's do a 12 month rolling average. I like 12 month rolling average. See the median home price guys is $360,000, $360,000. Even though niche.com says $304,000 guys, it's really $360,000. So I want to make sure you've got all the information when it comes to that right there. And then let's go ahead and scroll on down. Um, talks about some sponsored stuff. There's a map of Edmond. Now guys, this is more like the east side of Edmond. Edmond has a whole west side too that's not on this map let me open this up real quick so Edmond goes over here to county line too. the school district over in this area right here is called Deer Creek schools Deer Creek schools the real estate taxes are gonna be higher in Deer Creek schools guys and then Edmond school district goes down to the middle in between what is that called um, Lake Hefner and 150th Lake Hefner and Memorial. No, it's right here. I believe it's 100, 122nd. Edmond Schools goes 
down to the middle of 122nd and and up to the Deer Creek School District area. So even though this map right here says this is Edmond, guys, it's all over in this area too, right there. It's all over in that area too. Edmond Schools is down here. Deer Creek Schools is down here. So the school districts are really jagged and they change and all sorts of stuff actually. It's 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 actually annoying uh, the school districts and keeping the, the line just right whenever you're doing searches. For customers like you, we take the time to like move the lines just right just in case the agent doesn't put in the right school district whenever they're putting the home in the mls now let's go ahead and go back real quick okay edmund ranking best place in oklahoma to live what number one out of 133 best place in oklahoma to raise everybody raise everybody and best suburbs to live in in all of oklahoma best suburbs to live in in all of oklahoma so there's some more evidence showing why Edmund made number one and then of course you've got uh, crime and safety B minus it talks about the different crimes I don't know if that information is correct or not definitely google it double check it and all that stuff I'm sure it is but that's the crime rating that it came up with the median household income for Edmund is ninety six thousand three hundred eighty nine dollars that makes sense to me on the real estate part of it because if your average home price is three hundred sixty thousand dollars the median household income is going to be higher to be able to purchase those homes so that that makes sense to me when it comes to that there's tons of employers in edmond oklahoma you've got all the hospital networks you've got the city of edmond you got the school district of edmond uh, there's a prena plant out there there's some uh, there's a ton of office jobs out in edmond too um yeah there and then of course since edmond sits right on top let me show you real quick. Since Edmond sits right on top of Oklahoma City, see, this is a 30 minute commute map. This is a 30 minute commute map. You can get through all of Oklahoma City. You can get to the Will Rogers. You can get to the Tinker Air Force Base. You can get to everywhere in Oklahoma City. You can get to Yukon. You can get to Moore. Um, there's a ton of employers in that area right there that you can get to. So the commute when you're living in Edmond is pretty easy too when it comes to commute time and household incomes. Um, places that you might work for in this commute time are like the state of Oklahoma, the county of Oklahoma County, et cetera, et cetera. Some big major employers, Dell, um, Amazon, the like I said, the Will Rogers Airport, the Tinker Air Force Base, the VA, the medical center, all that stuff is down here. Tons of jobs within that 30 minute drive when you're living in Edmond, Oklahoma. So any questions on what is making Edmond the number one the number one best place to live in the Oklahoma City metro area. Just put them down in the comments below. I'll be able to address those. If you have questions like how many Walmarts does Edmund have? Three. Three Walmarts, guys. It's crazy. How many Targets does Edmund have? Two. Does Edmund have Bass Pro? No, it has Cabela's. It has Cabela's. And does Edmund have a mall? Yes, it does have Quail Springs Mall. Now, these places are considered Oklahoma. Some of these places are considered Oklahoma City. But really, guys, it's Edmund Schools. It's Edmund. So I call it Edmund. I call it Edmund. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to the next best city. City number two, Norman, Oklahoma, guys. Let's take a look at what makes Norman, Oklahoma number two. All right, so number two best place to live in Norman, Oklahoma, B plus on housing. It's got an A minus on public schools. Crime and safety is a C plus. <sighs> That's. That's interesting. That's interesting. If you'll look back when the uh, the whole uh, shelter in your house started, if you'll look at, when it comes to crime and safety, if you'll look at what Norman did with some of its police funds, that may have affected its ranking actually and crime safety ranking. So definitely check on the city council. And if you support the blue, if you support firefighters, if you support your public servants, etc., etc., stuff like that, you'll definitely want to look at what the city council did during the uh, shelter in place for two weeks stuff that started, you know, about three years ago. So you'll definitely want to check that out. It's good for everybody, and it's got a diversity. It's 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 got the biggest. It, Norman, Oklahoma has the biggest university 
in all of Oklahoma. So of course it's got huge diversity. Another thing that makes Edmond diverse, the city we just talked about, is it has two different colleges in it. So when you got colleges, you're going to have a ton of diversity. So Norman, Oklahoma, population 127,000. I think that's low. Median uh, real estate for Norman, Oklahoma, 225,000. Let's go double check the real stats together. Let's go double check the real stats together. Norman, Oklahoma, the median sales price is 279. 279 guys so definitely reach out to my team and i we want to give you the most up-to-date stats so that's 50 grand more than we were talking about and then edmund i think was 75 grand more than what niche actually has so we have the most up-to-date information i don't know when niche made this report median uh price for a home is two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. that's way more affordable uh two hundred seventy thousand dollars two hundred eighty $280,000. That's way more affordable than Edmond if you want to live in Norman. Norman has a ton of stuff too. And one of the things I like about Norman, Oklahoma, is it seems less spread out. It seems, you'll see that on the map. It seems more tightly put together so you can get to places a lot easier. And uh, so that makes like picking up groceries or going out to eat or anything like that a shorter time period on the wait. And so here is the map of Norman, Oklahoma. And this is pretty accurate. This is actually pretty accurate, guys, for Norman, Oklahoma. See how it goes over here in the rural areas over here? These are all rural areas. And then what I'm talking about, easy to get to places, all right here. Guys, that's that's like 10 miles. That's like 10 miles at the most. So it is super easy to get to everything. And there's really not that much over here because of the river. So this map is a much better representation of the actual city of Norman, Oklahoma than the Edmond map was. It definitely is. So any questions on the location? It's south of Oklahoma City. Norman is south of Oklahoma City. Any questions on Norman and the map? See, there it is right there south of the city. Let's look at the commute time real quick when we're talking about Norman, Oklahoma. All right, I've got Norman pulled up right here. So you can see, even when you're living in Norman, guys, you still get to Will Rogers Airport, the Dell uh, Computer Place. You could get to the um, Amazon Distribution Centers. You can get to Tinker Air Force Base all within 30 minutes, too, just like you could with Nor with Edmond when you're living in Norman, Oklahoma. And then, of course, some of your major employers in Norman, Oklahoma, guys, is going to be, you know, the school district, the city, the Cleveland County um uh, the, the Cleveland County, because because Cleveland County seat is in Norman, Oklahoma, the Sheriff's Department. So when you're talking about Norman's rankings, number two for best places for young professionals, number two for best suburbs for young professionals, and number three for best suburbs to live in in the entire state of Oklahoma. So Norman's got some good numbers too. Any questions on Norman's? How many Walmarts? I believe it's got two Walmarts, and it's got one Target that I know of. It's got a mall too. And um, yeah, Norman's a great place. It's got the University of Oklahoma, guys. So there's a ton of things that goes on in the University of Oklahoma when you're living in Norman, Oklahoma, like the, uh, what is it called? The Sooners, the football team, the Sooners. You guys have heard of those, right? Am I right? The third best city, Goldsby. Guys, I had to look Goldsby up. I don't actually, I didn't actually know where Goldsby was. It's right here. It's just south of Norman, Oklahoma. And it's the third best suburb to live in Oklahoma City metro area. Actually hadn't heard of it until I looked up this report to do this report with you guys today. It receives an overall A, A for public schools, A minus for housing. Let's get some, uh, we'll get to the housing numbers when we get there. Sorry, I was trying to skip ahead. Good for everybody. Good for everybody. It's diverse and it has a nightlife. I don't know how Goldsby has a nightlife, guys. Unless... Unless they're talking about going to Norman, I don't know how, from what I've researched, I don't know how Goldsby has a nightlife and crime and safety is a, is, is null and void. So maybe they don't report their crime numbers. I don't, I don't know how Goldsby got snuck in here at number three. I've never even heard of it actually until I did this report for you guys with a population of 2,744 people, median real estate price of $338,000. Let's go ahead and do a double check on that real quick. Goldsby. $543,000 is the median sales price for Goldsby, Oklahoma. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. That's like $200,000 off according to niche.com. Wow. So you'll definitely need some um, high paying wages to live in Goldsby, Oklahoma. And here's a map of Goldsby, Oklahoma. I'm guessing that it's right because 
I didn't know about Goldsby until I did this video for you guys today. So there is Goldsby. It's south of the city. And if Norman's 30 minute commute got to all those places, I'm going to guess that Goldsby 30 minute commute gets to all those places too. So we won't spend time on the commute map. And then um, Goldsby is located south of Oklahoma City. So it's over by uh, the casino. There's a great big casino right here. I, I believe it's right here is a great big casino that everybody goes to just on the other side of the river, guys. And then let's scroll on down. And when we're looking at Goldsby, what makes it rank number three best city in all the Oklahoma City metro area is best suburbs to buy a house in. 500 and how much was that? $543,000. That's an expensive suburb to buy a house in. Uh, best places to retire in, number five out of all of Oklahoma City metro area or all of Oklahoma and best suburbs to raise everybody in. Number six, number six best suburb to raise everybody in. Crime and safety, the stats are null and void, so we don't even know what that has to go by. And when it comes to the residents that live there in Goldsby, Oklahoma, majority of them have bachelor's degree, some of them have master's degree, and then, and then it looks like maybe half the population is below 24 years of age. So that's Goldsby, Oklahoma for you guys. If you got questions on it, ask me and I'll try to figure it out. But like I said, I didn't even know about Goldsby, Oklahoma until we did this report today. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the fourth best suburb to live in in the Oklahoma City metro area. And that's Yukon, guys. Yukon. I know about Yukon. I've got a whole channel or a whole playlist built on Yukon, Oklahoma. So I definitely know about Yukon. A minus for the overall niche grade, A minus in housing, B plus in public schools. I don't know. Everything I've seen about Yukon Public Schools, it seems pretty darn nice, guys. Good for everybody. No nightlife. Uh, B on crime and safety and B plus on diversity, guys. Yukon, Oklahoma, like I said, I've got a whole playlist built on Yukon, a whole playlist built on Edmond. Tons of info on the channel. When it comes to these suburbs, you can watch neighborhood tours you can watch pros and cons you can watch all sorts of stuff on yukon oklahoma we'll go through the niche report and then check out that playlist too guys so yukon oklahoma 24,198 people i think that's low i think that's low i think that's definitely up real estate one hundred seventy three thousand dollars. i think that's low let's do a double check real quick get you guys some most up-to-date information on yukon oklahoma real estate yeah, two hundred seventy thousand dollars. Two hundred seventy thousand dollars. So it's about a hundred thousand dollars off when it, on the niche report when it comes to real estate. So this is another reason you, when it comes to real estate, guys, you want to reach out to my team and I. We want to get you the most up to date information possible so that you don't get tricked by these other reports. Now, there's nothing wrong with niches report, guys. Based on the information that they had when they made this report, that's probably what they came up with. I'm going to give you the most up-to-date real estate information, and that's why you want to reach out to my team and I so we can help you with all your real estate needs, whether you're selling, investing, or buying anywhere in the state of Oklahoma, guys. So check this out, Yukon, Oklahoma. That map looks about right. That map looks uh, pretty right, but also, guys, I want to point out, Yukon, Oklahoma goes up in this area too. Up in this area too is considered Yukon, Oklahoma. So even though right there is the city limits, up here is considered a school district too. So when it comes to real estate taxes, something to keep in mind when you're paying the Canadian County Assessor, the Yukon, Oklahoma also goes up in this area and Piedmont is in this area too. It's really, like I said, the school districts are crazy here in Oklahoma and Oklahoma City metro area guys. But that's Yukon, Oklahoma guys. Check out my driving videos on it. I drive down Route 66. I come over here to Garth Brooks Boulevard. I come down. I show you all the new, all the new facilities like the Lowe's, the Staples, the Integris, the um, Gold's Gym, the Buffalo Wild Wings, the Burlington Coat Factory, the Ross Dress for Less. There's so much right here in this area on Yukon, Oklahoma, guys. If you live in Yukon, Oklahoma, you'll probably rarely go to Oklahoma City for anything except for maybe work. But for your nightlife, for your relaxed time, your weekend time, you're, you're going to spend it in Yukon, Oklahoma. Yukon, Oklahoma, guys, it even has a Sprouts. It even has a Sprouts. So there's Yukon, Oklahoma on the map. There's Oklahoma City. Let's get a 30-minute commute time on Yukon, Oklahoma real quick. All right, guys. So here's the 30-minute commute time on Yukon, Oklahoma. You can get all the way to Tinker Air Force Base from Yukon, Oklahoma easily in 30 minutes, guys. You jump on I-40, you cruise right on over there. Now, if you're doing it during rush hour, you're going to have some slowdowns over here in the uh, Dell area. 
the Dell computer, the computer company Dell area, you'll have some slowdowns right here, but it's pretty smooth sailing. They just widened up I-40. It's like an eight lane highway now. I-40 is, so you can easily go from east to west and west to east in the Oklahoma City metro area. But you can see you can reach almost all of Edmond when you're living in Yukon, Oklahoma in 30 minutes, and you can definitely get to all of Moore when you're living in Yukon, Oklahoma pretty easily too. The Will Rogers Airport, the uh, FedEx distribution place, the Amazon distribution warehouses, all those stuff along here on the Will Rogers Airport. And like I said, Yukon, Oklahoma, it has so much in it. Unless you're going to work, you'll be doing a lot of your R&R &R there in Yukon itself. So let's go ahead and finish out what Niche says about Yukon, Oklahoma real quick, guys. Yukon, Oklahoma, eight best suburb to live in Oklahoma. Number eight best suburb to raise anyone in Oklahoma and ninth best place to raise anyone in the state of Oklahoma. So any questions on Yukon, Oklahoma, guys, I've got a whole playlist, tons of tons of videos on Yukon, Oklahoma to give you an idea on what it's like in Yukon, Oklahoma, just like Edmond and just like Oklahoma City. So no questions on Yukon, no questions. All right. If you get a question later, reach out to my team and I would love to answer them for you. Let's go ahead and look at the number five, number five, best city, best suburb to live in, in all of the Oklahoma City metro area, and that is Moore, Oklahoma, guys. Moore's a great place. It really is. Now, tornadoes, they're attracted to Moore. It seems like, in my opinion, more than other cities are uh, have an attraction of tornadoes. But that's just my opinion. I'm not a meteorologist. I'm not an expert weather guy. I feel like if you're gonna live in more definitely have really good insurance and a low deductible when it comes to wind and hell when it comes to tornadoes guys so here's more oklahoma right here guys let's go ahead and see what makes it number five in your best suburb to live in in the oklahoma city metro area a minus overall great uh overall um a minus when it comes to overall niche grade Public schools, A minus, good for everybody. B plus on your housing, B plus on the nightlife. I think for the nightlife though, guys, I think you're going to Oklahoma City or Norman. I don't think you're doing much nightlife in more Oklahoma. Crime and safety, C plus, and diversity, A plus. Oklahoma, guys, it, it was a state of outlaws. It was a state that, that everyone um, went to to get away from from other people. Like Oklahoma in general, I think is pretty diverse with the Native American population the um, population of all the different, um, because of our universities and stuff and our affordable schools, the population even from foreigners when it comes to getting their education and stuff like that. More Oklahoma, niche.com is saying it has a population of 62,658 people with a median home price of $170,000, guys. Let's get some real stats on that real quick. More Oklahoma, median sales price as of right now, $230,000, $230,000 is what the actual median sales price is for homes. When we're looking at the map of more Oklahoma guys, it's sandwiched right in between Oklahoma City and Norman, right in between Oklahoma City and Norman. So it has a real easy commute time whenever you're commuting from more Oklahoma to other places. Because if you're gonna be working in Norman, if you're gonna be working in Oklahoma City, if you're gonna be working at the Will Rogers Airport or the Tinker Air Force Base, more Oklahoma is literally the closest to all of that that we've talked about today. See, look at this. You can get all the way to Edmond, all the way down to Purcell, and you can get all the way to Mustang, Bridge Creek, Yukon, New Walla, Hera, and uh, Tinker Air Force Base right here, the Will Rogers Airport right here, all of the state and county places in downtown Oklahoma City right here. More Oklahoma commute wise has one of the best commutes because it's right in the middle of everything. So. There is the more map. Any questions on more? Any questions on the location? All right, let's go ahead and move over to um, more rankings. So what makes more Oklahoma the fifth best suburb in the Oklahoma City metro area? It's number four for best suburbs for young professionals. It's number seven for best suburb for young professionals. It's number nine for best suburbs to live in in Oklahoma. So that's what makes more Oklahoma number four five best suburb to live in the oklahoma city metro area crime and safety c plus i've never i never feel like i gotta pay attention to crime and safety whenever i'm anywhere in the oklahoma city metro area now i carry and i was in the navy and so you know my subject view of crime and safety is different than other people's but that's just me i've never felt unsafe in different areas in the oklahoma city metro area 
diversity. You got 19% with a bachelor's degree, 8% with a master's, and it looks like here maybe 35% of the population is below 24 years of age. Walking in more B plus, yes, if you live in downtown more, you can actually walk to a lot of places. It's very walkable. Just like living in downtown Yukon, it's very walkable. Just like living in downtown Edmond, Oklahoma, is very walkable too. I don't know about walkability in Goldsby though, guys. I can't I can't comment on the walkability of Goldsby, Oklahoma when it comes to that. That's it, guys. That's the top five places in Oklahoma City that according to niche.com, and that's my thoughts on it. Norman, Oklahoma, um, has two walmarts at least in a target and it has a lot of shopping along the i-35 corridor more oklahoma has a huge walmart right in the middle of it right off i-35 it also has the warren theater great place to watch movies the warren theater and more oklahoma yukon oklahoma it has a big walmart super center and then it also has a neighborhood walmart over on the north east side of it that's yukon oklahoma and yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on the top five suburbs according to niche.com for today's video. I hope you found value in it. If you did, absolutely give the video a thumbs up. Share it with anyone who might be moving to the Oklahoma City metro area with you and you guys just want another opinion on it. And of course, reach out to my team and I. We'll shoot you straight. Whatever you're looking for when it comes to lifestyle, whatever you're looking for when it comes to amenities, whatever you're looking for when it comes to recreation, on where you want to live in the Oklahoma City metro area, whether you're moving from out of state or you're moving from another town, you just want my thoughts on it, my team and I's thoughts on it, Reach out, guys. That's what we're here to help you with. We help you through real estate needs because we know real estate's not just a house. It's also, what does the community offer? What does the neighborhood offer? It, it, there's a whole lot more than just house when it comes to real estate needs. The schools, for example, right? Am I right? All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Like I said earlier, if you're a subscriber and you're enjoying all these videos, thank you guys so much for subscribing and always enjoying the videos and giving them big thumbs up, guys. If you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Josh Barnett, real estate agent with eXp Realty. Been doing real estate for about 17 years. The team of agents that I work with throughout the state of Oklahoma, we're absolutely here to help you with all your real estate needs. The algorithm says these two videos right here, one over there and one over there those two videos right there might be something you might want to enjoy also all right guys i'll see you on the next video